success. <laughs> all I want to do is get product released again. Like that's really all I care about at this point. Being down, I think now almost 30 days, having no jewelry product to sell is really frustrating, but that's what happens when you are building a business. That's also probably the best problem to have because it's like growth and scaling and growing pains. So if these are the types of problems I'm going to have, it is what it is. Good thing. Yeah. We're going to go work out. p.m. We got to drop off a package for an international buyer in Ireland and then pick up the minted New York hats So let's go bang that out really quick Where I'm going for the city bike right now is showing no electrics Which really sucks because it just makes everything more difficult actually having to pedal This place uh, or this spot usually has the electric city bikes No electric. That's the way of the road sometimes. <laughs> Can't always get lucky. Hats are in. Embroidered, done. Got blue and tan. Uh, yeah. Is this gonna get censored on YouTube? I didn't really think about that, but uh, yeah, maybe we gotta find a different place to do these monologues. It's Tuesday. About to go to the gym. Four second negative on the um, each exercise, pretty much. One second at the bottom, one second at the top, four second down. And it's pretty much like that for four of the six days. We dropped that tailoring off last week and then I forgot about it. So let's go pick it up before we forget again. By the way, it's Wednesday already. Week's flying by. Drop on, th uh, drop on Friday. Just picked up the second half of the box situation here for this release on Friday. Now we're going to have to fold them all. It's going to be a pain. In the process of packing orders and by golly my room is a disaster. There's so much stuff everywhere. It's not even funny. Like, I just lost my Leatherman knife and it's driving me insane right now. Like, I have other stuff I could use to open, like these stupid scissors, but I just want the Leatherman knife because I don't know where it is. It's pissing me off. It's 9.38, night before drop day. So Thursday night, we have packed up a lot of hoodies still have to make the boxes for the hats um but yeah the hardest part or the most time consuming part it seems like is just the boxes come flat so you have to make them up and um folding the boxes is like i'm i'm not a tedious task guy like that and it's just not something i enjoy so I just get bored and then like next thing you know I'm on my phone on TikTok. Here are some hoodies stacked up. Um, still got more to go though. To get all the handwritten notes ready, prepped. Um, what else do we have to do? There's a lot we have to do. Like I gotta update the back end of the website stuff. There's just a lot that goes into it. And I try to write it down, each release, like stuff that I'm forgetting or stuff that I just 
I don't know, this slips my mind. But it feels like each release that I do, I learn a little bit more on how to smooth out the process. The whole shipping process is tough when it's just me working out of this apartment. And tomorrow, like I like to release stuff and get it sent out same day. Well, I walk all of my packages to the post office. And as you can tell, I can't carry those all at once. <laughs> so we're gonna have to figure that out. 11.30 p.m. night before the release. Finished packing up some boxes. Actually just sent out the email reminder uh, to the email subscriber list. Had to get some pictures and upload it to that. I will take care of the back end stuff for the website in the morning. Um, just cause that's just sit down at the computer and, and work. Um, yeah, go to bed. We'll probably be asleep by hopefully midnight. I gotta brush my teeth, wash my face. And then we'll be up at four because there's still more that I need to take care of. And tomorrow I've got a busy day at actual work too. So can't be distracted. Should have probably filmed some more behind the scenes stuff this morning, but got up at four, was extremely tired. Didn't really feel like filming, just wanted to like bang out as much of the prep work as I can going into the release. And I think we're good to go. Like all I have to do is make it live at 11. 10.50, 10, 10 minutes until launch. Kind of nervous, like, kind of nervous. I don't know. You always want, like when you put effort into something, you always want it to turn out, obviously best case scenario, but when you're re releasing products like this, especially in a space where there's so many good brands, it's like, you don't really know what's gonna happen. <laughs> That's why I put so much emphasis on just putting out a quality product. Um, yeah, I guess uh, we'll find out. Fourteen of you little munchkins just waiting in line. Four minutes? And you guys are just waiting, eh? This is insane to me. All you people. Just going after it. Watching this live right now, 130 of you on the store at 11.03 is the most mind-blowing thing ever. The phone is just blowing up with uh, notifications of orders. It's like... I don't know. So it's 6.33. Right now we're just, we have to handwrite all these letters. Um, so got a little stack and we just write letters to everybody and include them in the orders with stickers. It's gonna take me forever. <laughs> Saturday morning. 6.45, we were packing orders till around like 10.30 last night. But then I just had to go to sleep, I was so tired. We still have some orders to pack and there's so many orders that I don't know how to get them to the post office as I've talked about before. So what I did was I rented a U-Haul truck that I have to pick up at 8 a.m. Post office opens at nine, we'll fill up the U-Haul truck and then drive it over there I don't really know what the process is gonna be when I get there. Do There's something that I just love about early morning on the weekends in New York City, like it's not <laughs> even that early right now. It's like 8 a.m., but you have people working and then you just kind of have other people that are up early. There's like a quiet peace about it. E even earlier in the morning is better because it's just like super peaceful, super quiet. Everyone's just minding their own business and doing their thing. So, I don't know. It's probably one of my favorite things about the city is the early morning like that. The name minted New York minted New York of uh, uh, sterling silver chains yes no it's not saying minted 
New York, Sterling Silver Canes. Should um, yeah, should just be if you just Google minted New York, you don't have to put the sterling silver. Okay. It should be the first one that pops up. Minted New York. There it is. So the site's closed right now because I okay. just released a bunch of stuff yesterday. But it'll uh, I'll have new chains going up in like two to three weeks. You you live in the city? Yeah, I live uh, up on the up uh, Midtown West. Midtown West. Yeah. Seven. Hold on, I'm gonna put this, save it on Chrome, open <laughs> Chrome. Do you wanna give me a number? What do you mean by that? At this U-Haul station, I've been here before when I was moving apartments. There are people that sit outside the U-Haul and they offer to help you move. Um, they don't give you a rate or anything, but they just offer to help you move. And most of them are really nice people, hardworking people. And I know people that have used them and they've been fine, but uh, I've never interacted with them like like that before. So that was, that was a first, but he was a nice guy. I mean, I don't know if he actually was interested in the chains or what, what the deal was, but.